Okay, I wanted to make a video talking a little bit about how line dancing works for people that have never done it before. So, um, first off, you turn to different walls. So, in line dancing, they will call walls out like a clock. So, if you're facing the front, it's 12 o'clock. If you turn to the right, it's 3 o'clock. To the back, it's 6 o'clock. And then to the left of where you start is 9 o'clock. So you might hear dance is called out by what wall you're on. You're, you'll be on the 6 o'clock wall. So that means you're facing the back. Um, dances are taught in eight counts. It's, all, it's always eight counts at a time. So um, they can be single count or syncopated. If it's a single count, then I'm just gonna walk to show you how it counts. It will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it's syncopated, that means it's faster. So it's gonna be one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So there's twice as many steps. It's, it's faster. And you can tell just by looking at a step sheet for a dance if it's gonna be quick or slow, by if it's single count or syncopated. Okay, also um, the, the dances, they can come in 16 counts, which is really basic. 24 counts is still pretty beginner. And then at 32 counts, they start getting a little tougher. They can be easy but they can also be advanced. And so that would be four eight counts. And then it goes up from there. That can be 40, 48, 52, 64, 108, whatever. So usually the higher the count, the more difficult they get, but that's not always true. It can still be a beginner dance, even though it's a high count. Um, what makes it more difficult is a lot of turns make it harder to learn because once you get to a new wall, you get confused as to where you're turning to. Um, if they call a 32 count four wall dance, that means you're gonna do 32 counts at this wall. Then you're gonna turn either direction. It could be to the left. You'll do 32 counts there, 32 counts here, 32 counts here. And that's, you repeat the same 32, but facing a different wall every time. If it's a two wall dance, you're only going to do the 32 counts here, and then it will end on at six o'clock, and you'll do the 32 counts there. You can have a one wall dance, two wall, three wall, four wall, two plus two would be a two wall dance, and there's a restart or a tag which makes it go the other direction, then you'll do two, those two walls only. Um, a tag is when a song has extra beats in it. So the choreographer writes maybe four extra counts. It can be 32 extra counts, whatever it may be. It doesn't fit the rest of the song, so they write extra steps to fit there. And then you go back to the regular part of the dance. A uh, restart happens when the music, say you do 16 counts, and then the music goes back to the beginning again. So you restart back to the beginning of the dance again. And that happens in almost every song. So uh, when you are dancing, the counts typically indicate a change of weight. So you're moving from one foot to the other. It doesn't have to be. Sometimes you touch. If a dance says only touch, that means you're only touching your foot there. So this might be one, two, three. Your weight is staying on the left the whole time. But if you step, if it calls for a step, then you're changing weight. So you're gonna step, touch, step, touch, so you're only putting your weight if it says step. If it says touch, you're not putting weight on it. You're just touching there. 
and that's pretty much the basics.